NFL Super Contest Gambling Picks Week Number One. Yes, this is a college football show. I went 48 and 41 last year against the number in my Super Contest picks. That is five NFL bets every single season. I'm not going to cover the NFL much here, uh, much if at all, but I am going to give out some picks every week, five picks, because I do enjoy betting on the NFL. Uh, so I'm just going to tell you what I'm betting every week. I bet five games. I bet 10 bucks on each game. I just let it ride. Very easy to do. Uh, the picks that I have for this week, of course, these are all brought to you. The lines are all brought to you by BetUS. It is where the game begins. America's premier online sports book. Go ahead and check out BetUS.com. Game number one. Uh, the Bills are heading to the Rams, of course, on Thursday night. So I guess it's good that we're doing the show on Tuesday. Um, Rams... 5-0 and against the spread in Week 1. Yes, I know that the Bills are power-rated insanely high, but the Rams are a 2.5-point underdog at home in the game where they are supposed to be celebrating their Super Bowl victory. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Give me the Rams here. Uh, the Bills are good, and they are going to continue to be good, but I think the Rams win this game outright on a Thursday night. I think that this is a prime spot for them. Uh, so I will certainly... Certainly ride with L.A. and Sean McVay on this one. Uh, next one on the board, number two for me, Colts at the Texans. Texans a nine-and-a-half point underdog at home here. Yes, I understand that the roster does not look great. However, I don't know why the Colts would be favored by almost 10 points on the road anywhere. So, uh, the value for me, my line on this was closer to seven. The fact that this is nine-and-a-half uh, shows me that I've got about two and a half points of value here, maybe a little more. Uh, Colts two and six against the spread, their last eight against the AFC South. In division, they are not good at covering the number, period. Uh, but also, they are 3 12 and one against the spread in week one games in their last 15. I mean, it goes back, it's as old as time, it feels like. The Colts don't do well in opening games. Going to continue here. Texans, by the way, six and two against the spread versus the AFC South. And part of that is because the lines get exaggerated. They just do. Like, no NFL team is that bad. Okay, they can show up. They are all professionals as well. Game number three for me. I'm going to take the Vikings plus one at home against the Packers. Yes, I understand that the Packers have Aaron Rodgers. I understand all of this. Uh, I know that the Vikings have uh, some questionable stuff going on. I, I know all of this. But the Vikings 27 and 1 against the spread as a home dog in their last 28. The Packers are 1 and 4 against the spread their last 5 as a favorite. The Packers are 1 and 5 against the spread their last 6 on field turf. All of these different trends, etc. Uh you got a new coach in Minnesota, you got all this, you know, blah 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 blah. I like the Vikings roster. I like the Vikings team. I think they're going to be able to hang with the Packers. Not only that, I think they win the game. So the plus one is just added. So I will take the Vikings as a home dog there. Game four, the Eagles, a four-point favorite at the Lions. Now, the trends do not necessarily align with me. The Lions 4-0 and against the spread. Their last four as a home dog. However, that is, of course, once everybody realized exactly how bad they were last year. And the number got inflated. So... Uh, the Eagles 5-2-1 and one against the spread of their last eight as a favorite. That certainly bodes well. My line on this was actually the Eagles minus six. Uh, I'm getting two points of value here at minus four. I, yes, everybody's high on the Lions right now. I get it. I'm going to go the opposite way. I like the Eagles on the road here. And then finally, game five for me, Cowboys plus two and a half at home against the Bucks. Cowboys are 7-0 and against the spread as a home dog. They are 13-3, and their last 16 against the NFC. And the Buccaneers, 3-7 and against the spread as a road favorite. Again, Tom Brady inflates the line all the time, all the time. Now, sometimes he can still cover this thing, but the line gets a little bit crazy because people think a little, they expect a little bit too much. So, uh, that is who I'm riding with this week. You got Rams plus 2.5, you got Texans plus 9.5, you got Vikings plus one, Eagles minus four, and the Cowboys plus two and a half. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. 
Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.